This Deal Extreme Knife uh, SKU number is 30877. It's uh, described as the Cold Steel High Performance Knife AK-47 model. A little bit more about it there. And the box that it comes in seems a little more official than the other ones that you will see on Deal Extreme. There is actually a warranty on the back of the box. And a description of the uh, exactly what it's going to be. They do also discuss how they want it mailed to you, UPS for an item made in Taiwan. Interesting. And then a little bit more about the branding. Knife itself is an assisted opening knife, spring action. And the first thing I noticed right off the bat with this knife is a quality issue. There's a screw right there with the belt clip. And that's the quality issue. None of these screws are catching on the threading, there is no threading on the actual belt clip. And the threads in here, there's just a couple through, a couple deep. Once you add the thickness of this belt clip into there, there's just not enough for those screws to catch on. If you play with it a little bit, you might be able to get one of them tight, but by no means can you get all three of them tight. And as you can see, they can shake themselves loose easily. On the other side of this knife, there is a matching spot here that looks like where you could also put in the belt clip if you wanted to reverse it but there is no tapping on these holes here and I'm not gonna go taking the time to uh, bring a die set out and tap new threads onto the side of this I would either get longer screws or see if a little bit of Loctite might do the trick frustrating thing about not having this sit properly is this knife has a tip up feature that would allow you to and it is a reverse set belt clip so this would in fact be able to a tip up to work the tip up open if you're pulling it out if this just was, wasn't just going to fall off in your pocket. That aside, looking at the knife, it is an all steel construction or all metal. Looks like a, an aluminum handle with uh, lanyard holes here and I believe this could also double as a glass breaker either butting from here or from the back end there. Carson flipper on it and as I said an assisted opening blade. So I'll show you that. Just a quick touch here. It's going to bring the entire blade out. It's got a good sized liner lock. And here you can see the spring wanting to take action. Again, to show you that flip, just a little touch down here to start it off. We'll get the blade the rest of the way out. It is that AK 47 design you'll see on some other knives online. Looking at the back of the blade, we see here the Cold Steel logo and uh, AUS 8A Steel it says it is. Taiwan name there. And the AK-47 on the front. For the price and for how it feels and the size overall, I do really still like this knife. Needs a couple of things done right away. The other knives I have got from Deal Extreme have not had problems with. Now a little bit of looseness we've seen before. You can see even there's a little blade wobble there. Uh, so tightening is obviously part of what's going to be required on this knife when you get it. And you'll see other comments say the same thing on the online store. However, it is a sharp out of the box as any of the knives I've got. And the uh, drop point design on the knife for the blade itself is going to make it easier to sharpen. So I'm not saying don't get it. Just be prepared to have your uh, torque screws handy. Maybe a little Loctite when you get this knife to tighten it up and have it holding together the way it should. So the measurements for this knife are overall length of 21 and a half centimeters, exposed blade eight and a half centimeters, blade width is just about three centimeters at its wide point. Pretty standard sizes for any pocket knife, you can see the blade thickness there is right on par with anything else we've got from Deal Extreme at about four millimeters.